Welcome guys, in this video I will go over how I made a 3D keypad lock in Godot. It will not be a full tutorial but if you want I can make one. So let me know in the comments. Firstly, let's see it in action. As you can see the keypad is in 3D, and it shows a interaction text below, it can be customized. If you enter the wrong password it plays an error sound. It has a clear and enter button. On entering 1234 which is the correct password it plays a sound and the door opens. I have connected the keypad to the door, but you can connect it to anything in your game like a moving panel, some vault door, or a loot crate. Before we go into the scenes. Do like the video and comment also subscribe to the channel it is completely free but helps me a lot. Ok now let's see the scenes. First let's look at the door. It is a static body. It has a simple cube mesh and, and a similar collision shape. You can use any model for the mesh it doesn't matter. It also has an animation player with a door open animation. The script is also very simple. The door extends interactable which is the base class. I have made the interactable by watching a tutorial of code with Tom link in description. The door has two states open and closed. Initially the door is closed. The interactable needs two functions get interaction text and interact. The get interaction text decides what is the text what shows when near the door. The function interact is called when the interact key is pressed on the door, here we only close the door if it is open. The door itself has two functions open and close, which play the respective animations. We change the state of the door after the animation has finished playing. The interactable class is very simple, it only has two functions get interaction text and interact which have to be overridden by the child. Do stay tuned to the channel, since I will be showing how to use the same interactable to make buttons and other things too. Let's look at the keypad itself. It may look like a lot of nodes but it is really simple and customizable. We have the three audio players for correct, wrong and key press sounds. Then we have a cube mesh for the keypad background. Then all the keys. And finally a viewport and sprite 3D for the actual password field. The viewport has a panel for a background color for the password and a label so we can see the password. Each of the keypad keys is an instance scene. Here we also have a static body, with a mesh, a viewport, and sprite 3D for the text and a collision shape. So that we can interact with each button. The collision layer is on too so that the player cannot collide with the button. Here also the keypad button extends the interactable. Each button has a number which is the value of the button. It has a signal on interact which is emitted when the button is interacted with. The script is a tool script so that we can see the number on the button in the editor too. Again the function get interaction text and interact are of the interactable. Let's see the main keypad script, it has an export variable correct password which we will change the value later. The password variable is the current password shown on the keypad screen. There are four signals which you can use for different use cases, one when the password is correct, one when wrong, one when password is cleared, and another when any of the keypad buttons are pressed. Next we get references to all the audio players, the keys, and the password label that is our keypad screen. In the ready function, we loop through each button in the keys and connect the on interact to the keypad on button interact. We set the password to a blank string. If you don't know what the ready function is or are new to go to check out my 2D sliding game tutorial series link in description. The on button interact is called when any button of the keypad is pressed, here we play the button press audio. If we press the enter key we check if the correct password and the password are equal then we emit the correct password signal otherwise we emit the wrong password signal and play the respective audio. If the clear key is pressed we emit the clear signal and set the password to a blank string. If a digit key is pressed, we check to see that the current password length is not more than the correct password if it is we return since we don't want more than 4 characters on the screen. But you can customize it if you make a bigger password screen. After the check, we add the digit as a string to the password and emit the key press signal.
The main game script, has a function on keypad on correct password, which is connected to the keypad on correct password, here we run the doors open function. Now let me show you how to change the keypad's password. The UI has a label which is shown when we are close to an interactable. The first person character controller, I got from Gerbarge link in description. This interaction script is also part of the code with Tom tutorial. We have a raycast in front of the player and when it collides with an object we check if it is an interactable, then we show the interaction text and check if the interact key is pressed. The set interaction text updates the label in the UI node. That's it for this video. Do subscribe. Like and comment for more content.